Please welcome Britta Zega, member of the Board of Management of Daimler AG, responsible for Mercedes-Benz cars marketing and sales. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Geneva. You might be wondering what do these two models have in common? Not much at first glance, but I believe they can both have a strong motivational effect. An easy way to get this guy into a suit and tie is let him drive our G63. It's just as much at home off-road as it is in front of the Oprah house. And the best way to get this guy out of his house is to get him into our A-class and let him play with our new MBUX. That's Mercedes magic for you. And it seems our broad portfolio motivates quite a few customers. After the first two months of the year, our sales are up 7.4%. In fact, when it comes to the variety of our products, we want to offer a tempting solution to every customer, from city car to off-road legend, from AMG performance to Maybach luxury. Make sure you don't miss our even more refined Mercedes Maybach S-Class with its new radiator grille and two-tone paintwork. It's truly majestic. So, whether you are a geek or a family dad or a businesswoman with Mercedes-Benz, you've got the choice. But what if you can't decide? Wouldn't it be great if you could just drive a new Mercedes every month at a fixed cost? Well, now you can. With our new Mercedes Me Flexperience, you can get access to 12 different models per year. The whole process works easily with a smartphone app. So when the weather looks great for the weekend, just swap your sedan for a cabriolet and make the most out of it. This is just one more innovative idea to create best custom experience with the help of digitization. And there is more like online purchasing in China and in Germany, where you can already buy your Mercedes-Benz on the internet. We expect to generate up to 25% of global sales online by 2025. At the same time, buying a premium car is always an emotional experience in itself. That's part of why you are here today, right? And it's also why our more than 6,500 sales and service outlets worldwide are our major asset. Thank you. For a premium brand, personal relationship will always be key. That's why we will turn the point of sales into a point of experience. We want our new showrooms to create the same feel-good atmosphere you know from our cars. For example, this counter is where all our customers will receive a very warm welcome. It is just one step to more dialogue and dedication within our customer relationship. At these counters, our new product experts will assist you with questions you might have without having any intention of selling cars. And we have many more ideas. For example, you can configure your A-Class right here in Geneva and take it for a virtual spin immediately with the help of our VR classes. As you can see, our goal is to create a seamless experience in the real and virtual world so that our customers feel at home no matter how or where they get in touch with us. Now, Talking about great experience in this context of urban mobility, you have to mention SMART. SMART has always been a forerunner in terms of electric mobility. We introduced our first electric SMART more than a decade ago, and now SMART is the first brand to make the radical change from combustion engine to fully electric. That's why it makes sense that SMART 
also pioneers our brand for electric mobility, EQ. In Germany, we sold as many electric smart cars in the second half of last year as we sold with the previous generation of electric smarts in 2013 and 14 combined. The world's only open-top electric car might be one of the reasons our smart EQ42 Cabrio. By the way, thanks to our new quick charger, it takes less than 45 minutes to charge our electric smart cars to get a range of up to 160 kilometers. No doubt, electric mobility is quickly becoming a reality. And with it, we offer our customers even more choice. The model we will present next comes with the big news in this respect. Thank you very much. Please welcome Ola Kalinius, member of the Board of Management of Daimler AG, responsible for group research and Mercedes-Benz cars development. Ladies and gentlemen, when we introduced the forerunner of RC class back in 1982, people called it the baby Benz, but it has long since come of age. Over the past 36 years, we have sold over 9.5 million C-Class sedans and estates worldwide. Last year, nearly every fifth Mercedes was a C-Class. In other words, our baby Benz has become a global superstar. And we're now giving it even more star power. The new C-Class is available with most of the comfort attributes of the S-Class, all of its intelligent drive features, including its automated driving functions, and even more driving fun. For example, we increased the performance of our AMG C43 4Matic from 367 to 390 horsepower. Now, speaking of great engines, people used to say there is no substitute for cubic inches, but of course there is. At Mercedes, we believe there is no substitute for technology. Our EQ power plug-in hybrids clearly show this. We've already reached very convincing results in our new S560e, and we plan to introduce an all-new drivetrain variant for the C and E-Class, our very first diesel plug-in hybrid. We believe plug-in hybrids are more than a bridging technology. They are an intricate interaction of mechanical and electrical components that you will hardly find anywhere else. We recently invested over 3 billion euros to bring our diesel engines to perfection. And we are gaining traction in drivetrain electrification. And as well, connectivity helps us to fully capitalize on these opportunities. Our EQ Power plug-in hybrids prove with great technology, you don't have to choose. 
you can get sustainability and practicability and driving performance in the best available package today. For our new diesel hybrid, we will use the cleanest and most efficient four-cylinder diesel engine that we have ever built. We combine this with our new 90 kilowatt electric motor and an increased battery capacity of 13.5 kilowatt hours. Plus, our intelligent operating strategy uses navigation data and our assistance systems to maximize the electric range of the car. The result, a fantastic combination of efficiency and fun. We achieve a very efficient hybrid mode or an electric range of up to 50 kilometers. And the engine reaches a maximum torque of no less than 700 Newton meters at 1400 RPM. Ladies and gentlemen, that takes us right into performance car territory. And it shows, with the right technology, the diesel has a future. Improving it is better than banning it. Here's how we plan to do this at Mercedes-Benz. Our modular Mercedes engine portfolio. It is based on our high-tech four and six cylinder diesel and gasoline engines, designed for systematic electrification from the start, so we can create a perfect electrified solution for every application. This toolbox helps propel us into the future. We will have more than 50 electrified vehicle variants by 2022, and at the same time, we are investing 10 billion euros into our fully battery electric models. In doing so, I can promise, we intend to continue on the direction that you see here. With that, I'd like to hand over to Dita Tetsche. Dita, I believe the car that you will talk about now will take us a long way towards the fun end of this graph. Right? Dieter, Absolutely. the stage is yours. Thank you, Ola, and hello, everyone. Ola, you are absolutely right. Our next car will definitely extend that last chart on the fun part. And as we talk about extreme driving and extreme fun, it's quite likely that the guys from AMG in Affalterbach are involved. Coinciding with their 50th birthday last year, they also broke their all-time sales record. For the first time ever, they handed over more than 130,000 performance cars in a one-year period. That also means Mercedes-AMG has been last year's best-selling performance brand within its relevant competitors. As they say, strong competition brings about the strongest results. And we do have strong competition, including our friends in Zuffenhausen. The race is on, not just about the fastest lap time. Great results at AMG certainly contributed to make Mercedes once again the best-selling premium brand on the planet in 2017. But what strikes me even more is that we remain on our steady upward journey. As Britta just mentioned, we continue to do well in 2018. Last February was the best-selling February in the history of Mercedes-Benz. Plus, it's been our 16th record sales month in a row. That means our sales numbers have been going up for five years straight. More and more customers all over the world choose a Mercedes-Benz to cater to their individual mobility needs. In a growing number of them, those who in particular appreciate performance, sound and spottiness, pick an AMG model. So the AMG strategy pays off, because AMG strategically drives in two parallel lanes, and in both at high speeds, of course. One lane builds on the extensive Mercedes product range by adding the AMG touch, feel and, well, let's call it some extra muscle. The result is stunning high-performance cars like the all-new Mercedes G63 that you met earlier. Today, our lineup contains of 46 AMG performance models across all segments, starting with our compact performance cars. In the second lane, however, are the full-fledged, homegrown Mercedes AMG sports cars 
initiated back in 2009 by the Mercedes SLS. Following the SLS has been a growing family of high-performance Mercedes AMG GT models. Today, the full portfolio includes eight native Mercedes AMG models. There's no doubt, these roadsters and coupes deliver big on the fun-to-drive side, both on the racetrack and on the road. GT drivers certainly know what I'm talking about. I can tell it's always good to have some real racing enthusiasts in your company. And we have more than anyone else. Our folks at AMG also have excellent connections to our Formula One and motorsports teams. The Mercedes AMG Project One we introduced last year in Frankfurt is just one example that impressively shows all of these people really know what they are doing and they share their knowledge. There's no doubt, driving an AMG GT sure is an outstanding experience. Yet, there's always been one major dilemma. Those who wanted 100% of Halterbach could only bring 50% of the family or less. It's been a conflict. We love performance and we love family. I mean, Tobias Merz, a natural born car guy, also has two kids. And today is the day to end this battle. We took our successful MG GT racer and added a second row of seats. In fact, you can now welcome an additional two, or if you want, even three passengers in the back. So for future road trips, the rear seat entertainment might come from Netflix. And the front seat entertainment comes from a powerful AMG engine like the V8 featuring up to 639 horsepower. Following the Mercedes AMG Project One, this car will also become the second ever AMG model with a plug-in hybrid engine. Above all, this is a family car, but it's not only here to be nice. This is for performance-driven moms and dads. Therefore, we didn't just take the easy way out by adding some extra steel and carbon fiber. <clears throat> the specifications for the engineers clearly stated, we need some real Lewis Hamilton feel. One single detail says a lot. You get that touch of motorsport on the inside just by having a look at the all new steering wheel combined with the new optional AMG display buttons. Just like Formula One drivers, this unit now allows you to fully focus on the road and still be in full control of all performance measures most relevant to the individual driver. Apart from world champion details like this, we preserve the coolness of the AMG GT's jet fighter-like cockpit. And we invented a whole new interior design from there. This also means we added a lot more high tech. There are enough cars out there that are a moving compromise. This one certainly is not. There's plenty of space in the back. There's plenty of performance in the front. You quite literally have to see and feel it to get the full picture. And if you watch closely now, you'll find out that this car helps to win more than one battle. Ladies and gentlemen, here it is, the new Mercedes AMG GT four-door.
Thank you, Oli and Markus. Great sound for a great car. Isn't that a beautiful beast? On that tank K, the entire family along and in a hurry. Find out more once it is unleashed. Ladies and gentlemen, with this new AMG GT sports car, we are adding another great option to our portfolio. And the reason for that is what Prita pointed out in the very beginning. More options means more choice. We can provide a lot of options to our customers now, catering to literally any customer needs. Just look at the cars we brought to Geneva today. From Smart EQ 4.2 and A-Class to the new C-Class up to G63 and AMG GT four-door coupe, there's hardly a white space left in our lineup. And we are taking it one step further. Our portfolio offers more variety and choice than ever. Now, Mercedes Me Flexperience will provide our customers with more flexibility than ever to fully experience all that choice. There's only one downside to all this. We are giving Mercedes and smart customers an even harder time finding their perfect package. But honestly, we can cope with that, and I guess our customers as well. Thank you for your attention. Have fun at the Geneva Motor Show. Thank you. Thank you.